Hey guys, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorial. Of course, presented by We Make Dance Music, but this isn't only Make Dance Music we're making. We're making all genres, guys. We have actually film score, which is what we'll be making today. Some of actually the, the templates that I sold the most and the track that I've produced the, that are the best in the past five years are actually film score, ambient and stuff. So today I'm going back to a really ambient thing. My idea, Vangelis, uh, kind of love song in Blade Runner 1. Uh, maybe a little bit of Chariots of Fire, kind of piano inspired thing in there. You know, I want to go really deep, no drums at all, just texture, a bit of synthetic, a little bit of piano, maybe some strings. And I'm starting with a MIDI chord that's gonna kind of give a direction of how I'm gonna mold it, but it's gonna be a lot about sound design and layering parts and trying to build like an atmosphere in between those sounds and create emotions with only synthesizer, which I think is fairly difficult. Just a little bit about We Make Dance Music, guys. We are the biggest music production marketplace on the web. We have over 13,000 products from 500 producers who upload regularly. We have a lot of new stuff every day. You have to check it out, WeMakeDanceMusic.com. You do have to check out WeMakeDanceMusic.com because you're watching this video and you're gonna get this free tutorial from me giving everything I have for my 20 years experience. So let's get started, guys. So you might ask, why is it called live electronic music tutorial? Because it's still electronic, guys. I mean, everything that I do and I use is all in the box. So that's it. This is electronic music, but taking more like of an ambient kind of thing. And Vangelis, to be honest, it's all synthesizer. It's all electronic music. And when there's piano, it's so processed that it's kind of really became electronic music. So let's have a listen to the chord. Part of my inspiration for today, guys, is today I run half a marathon. It was intense. It was a great day. It was sunny, so it was very inspiring. And I thought, try to fire or something. And then I listened to this track, another Vangelis track, and I was thinking, I'm gonna go in between, not necessarily. Do, 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 do. You know, that's that's a great track. This is definitely a good inspiration, but I'm not sure this is this is what I want to do today. So. A chord like this is a good starting point, like which I will divide and try to create texture and and try to make it rich and hopefully exciting for you guys. Um, first thing that I did is I added a reverb here, like a super big room reverb, which is is bringing definitely some dimension to the pad. And I'm gonna go here, and I'd like to have a bit of a bass. And I'm wondering right away if if I should use an acoustic or or more of a more of a synthesizer elements. I think I'll go for synth. Guys, I finally downloaded all the presets from <laughs> from uh, from Alchemy. Like I said, guys, I ran half marathon today. I'm, I eat well now. I'm okay. I'm, I'm getting back into energy, but it's it's really draining to, to, to do this this full blast run, you know, for an hour and 37 minutes. That was my, my time today. Whew, that was intense. Okay, let's get into the topic. I like this, but I don't like the plug. So maybe I'll go into the advanced part here, or just a simple, no. This will have to be the advanced, and it's a bit complicated, this one. I thought I had like a simple ADSR, I can go there. Seems to be just... that because we want to progress into the track and it's more about sound design and not short loops there classic sweep wobble acoustic layer maybe kind of 
interesting that the kick hits when they hit the base hits. Well, it's not quite a big kick. Percussion, so there's quite a bit of action on the top of these chords here. So, those chords are actually from our side, guys, from a guy that's called Inner Heart, great producer from Czech Republic. I was making some super nice MIDI packs, as you can see. This is just like some nice chords put put together just just like this this is getting fairly complex i use this stuff for so many years because it's not my strength guys my strength is definitely not uh composing some some complex chord and melodies my strength is to arrange mix and engineer and sound design a song so i'm basically using my weakness you know, as and taking this to put them as a strength. So I'm gonna go into guitars. I think a nice kind of swell, kind of something. Yeah, yeah, we're a little bit in the evangelisty kind of territory here for sure. If I wouldn't put it higher, oh, probably not. This pad is definitely too loud here. Put it more in the back. And I will have to record a lead on top of that. I said to myself when I do this episode today, I have to record a piano lead, so I think it's gonna be a bit difficult because it's fairly complex. Have definitely a good start. Something is really, really has already a great vibe. Like you see, I'm just layering stuff so far. I think I will probably have time to go into some arrangement. I think here I would like some kind of a brassy kind of sound with those keys that are going more lower and lower kind of thing. that right away I feel like it would be nice to have some modulation some really kind of big chorus and ensemble not really ensemble a really slow kind of going So I will go back into modulation and I will go with chorus, which was really my first idea. Like a like a wide glimmering, mega wide. Region. 
composition by track. So basically, the tracks were done with uh, s like uh, silent ones. That's why this was named like that. Now we have a better idea of what it is in there. Wow! I didn't know it's gonna be that. <laughs> Just ladies in there, and I already get the feel. So that's a good episode. So what happened when you run a half marathon? And I was actually. One of the tricks before I do those sessions, guy, I kind of cultivate the idea in my head, you know. I'm just like, I'm gonna make this evangelist sound, I want this layered thing, I want this super airy piano, I want some emotions, you know. Sometimes it has to go very minimal with some more sound effecty in the background. Sometimes it's gonna be more, you know, not so energetic, but it will have to have a bit more, more emotion, let's say. And, well, it just came. It's about preparation, really. Same thing, same thing about the marathon today. It was all about preparation. The hardest thing for me there is going to be to keep it on key or kind of. idea that I have to go up here in the oak. edited I think I found the keys it's difficult I mean you have to think about the amount of intentions that are put into into the these tracks that I'm trying to imitate in just like a few minutes it's like you know so I like this two and then I think the third one I will skip to put something else 
course now we're just building up so I will leave everything on and of course this here with that no so I hear this and right away I'm thinking okay these parts are here I want to continue I want to continue let's say I will start here with the, the next the next sequence and I will leave this on however I will continue it with like a like a pad like an effect kind of a soundscapey kind of thing it will start with the last key it will continue so something like that to to really not fill the gap but you know put some emphasis on the fact that there's other things in there in between um alchemy again alchemy has got such like such amazing sounds i don't know why it's not more used so soundscape here I'm gonna deep blue here i'm gonna pick a random one you just for the sake of it see already you know, that could be it, you know, if I don't want to search too much and just have the effect of it. I guess I would have to cut it a little bit here, I don't want it to extend too much into the, last, the next part. search a little bit I mean it worked it would like not the trouble but not, not that Productions about putting ideas together, more ideas that are working, you put on more ideas that are working, and then I think you withdraw. This is the way I do it. I add, 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 and eventually I purify and clean to the simplest expression. those templates for you guys I put on a lot more work and I turn on the speakers makes everything in here in this room which is actually very good now but 
it's not the end for this episode just yet, guys. We're gonna start arranging this this piece, you know, that I would... I think I can turn this into something quite incredible. And guys, I forgot to tell you that every single template is now gonna be available for Logic Pro X, Ableton, NFL Studio. So if you're watching and using any of those, you can get a template and a sample pack with all the hits and everything that's in there. But let's get continued to this track. My first idea really right away is to start straight up with the piano. Like if you ask me, I just cut everything. Start with the piano. Not even a bass. Not a melody. As I build this part, because I want you guys to understand the process, I'm basically gonna remove a lot of stuff. I'm most likely gonna also gonna add some layers, play with the elements and stuff. So at first, like I said, I put in, put in, put in, and then now it's time to edit. And for me, editing is usually quite a bit of automation. So I'm gonna start here, put it on touch, drop the filter. So I want this pad to be there, but really, really in the back. I think it's also quite loud. So it's mixing, engineering, pretty much all happening at once. I'm gonna try to turn this off, show the automations here. I'm gonna into the cutoff of Alchemy, put it here. nice I think I think I'm gonna do something a bit funky so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a, some modulation on the reverb signal um, I haven't done this before but it just popped into my mind now and I'm just like yeah so modulation delay here The, the, the reverb has a lot of signal because it's a super big room and it, it's a long tail thing. I like the first one, this was nice because there's a nice stereo effect to it. <laughs> super nice. I'm gonna take this and now I'm gonna drop the volume a little bit here. It's a bit much. Saying that, I think I would just do like the mix here a bit less. So have more of the wet, the, the dry signal. And just give this little dimensional feeling. On top of it, like this. And I'm thinking this part here with the little drum that I want it to be like kind of an ambient synth, I will now turn into an ambient synth because the drums are cool. But I want one more, like, well, my first idea was good, but of course, when you stumble into something good, you might want to keep it, you know, because it's, it could become handy. Now we have no limitation of what we can input into the machine, so it's, it makes things much, much easier. Oh, it's loading something. Yeah, it was loading, all right. Not quite what I'm looking for. Distance voice. This sun and voice, sorry. Not quite. What I've heard was very nice when it came in here, this little part here. Yet empathy. Wow, I'd like to have a bit more of that. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, that was kind of a joke, but uh, very nice purity. Mm, this is smooth. I 
like it. This is what I was looking for. Maybe an octave lower. Continue a little bit because the piano is still playing. I'm going to continue with the idea of this, this background kind of part there, a bit lower. The pad is progressing here. this piano for this long I'm gonna go definitely into a part without the piano here what I'm gonna do is I will cut my pad I think quite a lot here control a name region by tracks again because we keep on progressing I think I click save. It's unnecessary for now, so I want to not do that because it will take some time. I did it again. <laughs> it's just a reflex, guys. Aye. Okay, so we'll get that, and I want to drop it here, so I'm gonna go really. So I'm gonna really drop the last piano part, like literally. it. Oh yeah, like that. Here. With this other synth up synth here we're gonna use. I think I think I would go into this right away like boom. I think I would like a little touch of background piano with this. I think I'll take the chord here. Now I have a full piano chord, it's gonna be a bit like intense, like this. Hey. It's a bit much, like I said. I'm gonna put the marker at 17 here for the second part. I like the lows though. There's something missing in there. In my, in my opinion, at least. Let's go here. Ah, it's the pad that is missing. Here we go. So, I think I'll bring it full, just kick it super super full, this is dropping here which is good, get very very quiet and then we hit it, again, <laughs> control save, control save, control save, so when I like something my brain just tells me to save, but logic is saving like every 5 seconds or something like that, so... idea when I was thinking oh, I'm gonna replicate thing is I was thinking I would play a little bit more another piano melody or something so I have to bring it back here to see if I can come with something maybe decent
So this is the only two key that I can hear that will fit in there. It will not like really change the whole thing. Here. to adjust it and, and put it in the mix but it's gonna take a little bit of work again. Oof. it's not quite my idea here but we'll make it happen but not there no not working so we'll try again uh. quite regular so we'll have to scrap that part because I tried but it didn't really work so let's continue a little bit more so the piano is still here down here still quite beautiful this piece so far I'm gonna try to just sort out the tracks a little bit so this is main pad which we started with very important to name your tracks guys really make the workflow a little bit later much easier so this is a dark veil it's a different i think it's a different preset so this it's like a little space piano And what I like really is when when I get to remove stuff. It's so much fun. That's a brassy. Then an ambient melody here. Let's hear it. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. I will not change the name of that. Okay, main piano. So this would be. Perk, 
works. I think it's the percussive thing. Percussive response, because it responds to the piano when the piano is there. This one's empathy, I'll keep that. This is a top pad, I would say. Which I will actually put on top of the pad here, so we'll get a little bit of a kind of layer kind of thing. The percussion is going to go underneath here. The little piano can be there. I'm going to try to divide a little bit, like kind of with the frequencies of what I use, and to see what goes more on top. This goes quite close to the top. right now the piano will go higher but for now I'm just gonna continue a little bit in the mix so here I really so we come for a very strong big parts what I like to do here oh my automation oh, my automation is here sorry guys after that I would definitely drop it like really go dark and mysterious you know with I don't know 20 seconds of this this brassy thing here I think we have to bring the empathy in here so we're gonna go here we're gonna go into the second part here we're gonna build it up a little bit this I'm not certain I want Just a hit, the first hit only. Again, I like this super minimal approach here. And then I'm gonna bring the pad up here to bring it into another big part. really really slowly not bring much more but the piano here the pad some more I was even thinking it was like I should cut the bass here cut the percussions oh, this again guys sorry <laughs> I think I think what I can hear really right away that I would like to put here in the background of this part is like an evolving kind of thing that's gonna be really there for a while. Oops. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna see if I have some kind of texture. 
I can find to put in there. Soundscape again and try to, you know, find something long, something evolving. It's evolving organic drama. Yes, here it is drama. Oof. Cool. Very soundtracky. I'm gonna give it more juice here. Again, <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. My brain is, is, I think, out of order. like a kind of a silky layer and then at the end I will bring it back there and guys this is gonna be it for episode 258 of your life electronic music tutorials I hope you guys enjoy had a blast doing it like I said I run half a marathon today so I'm a little bit uh, shaky on the brain side but it feels good it's emotional it's definitely quite vengeful i pretty proud of you got a second guys smash that like button that, ring that little bell, check out other episode guys, I'm gonna make a whole lot of these, and until next time, make a song for you.